in my earlier video i had seen characteristic polynomial and cali hamilton theorem of linear operator and i had seen also what is the eigen value and eigen vector and in my previous video i had seen eigen value and eigen vector of rotation matrix today i will discuss this topic also elaborately today's goal of this lecture is i will see not only characteristic polynomial i will see annihilating polynomial and actually all characteristic polynomial is belongs to the annihilating polynomial so today's goal is i will see what is the annihilating polynomial and this concept is actually very important for higher study so i will highly recommend you please do attention in today's video then our next goal is i will see what is the minimal polynomial and not only characteristic polynomial polynomial what is the minimal polynomial idea is very important for any competitive exam characteristic polynomial minimal polynomial all be belongs to in annihilating polynomial just recall in my earlier video i had seen consider ab mapping from x to x which will be n cross n matrix over algebraically closed field k i had seen in my previous video what is the algebraically closed field then the characteristic polynomial of every n cross n matrix a is of the form characteristic of the a is equal to t to the power n minus trace of a times t to the power n minus 1 and this would be continue here would be other term plus minus 1 to the power n determinant of a what trace of a means algebraic multiplicity of the eigen value lambda 1 times lambda 1 and this would be continue and n term would be this would be up to algebraic multiplicity of lambda n of the matrix a times lambda n and algebraic multiplicity means actually the number of times of lambda appears as a root of the characteristic polynomial element of the matrix means lambda 1 times algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1 and this would be continue and this would be uh, last term would be lambda n times algebraic multiplicity of the matrix lambda k today at first i will see why sum of the eigen value is equal to trace and product of the eigen value is equal to determinant of the matrix in other definition of characteristic polynomial is suppose v is a complex vector space and t be linear operator from vector space to itself and consider lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda n denote the distinct eigen value of this operator with multiplicity d1 d2 up to dn then t minus lambda 1 to the power d1 t minus lambda 2 to the power d2 up to t minus lambda n to the power dn would be the characteristic polynomial of linear operator this is another definition now i will say why product of eigen value is determinant of the matrix a this consider the characteristic polynomial who is denoted as p lambda equal to c times t minus lambda 1 times t minus lambda 2 up to t minus lambda n however c is some constant and this constant depends the leading coefficient of characteristic polynomial which is actually minus 1 to the power n using by induction that means obviously here i have considered it the order of the characteristic polynomial is a n that means c would be minus 1 to the power n uh, that means the p lambda would be minus 1 to the power n t minus lambda 1 times t minus lambda 2 up to t minus lambda n now putting lambda equal to 0 
then p0 would be minus 1 to the power n 0 minus lambda 1 0 minus lambda 2 up to 0 minus lambda n then this would be minus 1 to the power n minus lambda 1 minus lambda 2 up to minus lambda n now common minus from both from both lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda n then this would be minus 1 to the power m times minus 1 times lambda 1 minus 1 times lambda 2 up to minus 1 times lambda n and from this expression this is actually minus 1 to the power n lambda 1 up to lambda n that means this is actually minus 1 to the power 2 n lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda n that means p0 equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda n and we all of us know p lambda means since this is the characteristic polynomial this is equal to data of a minus lambda i and since here I have considered lambda equal to 0 that means p0 equal to data of a minus 0 i which is equal to determinant of a and since p0 equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n therefore Obviously, determinant of A equal to lambda 1, lambda 2 up to lambda A. Are you getting? Why the determinant is product of the eigenvalue? Oh, well. That means, if N cross N matrix have N distinct eigenvalues, then its determinant is equal to product of these eigenvalues. But if you have eigenvalue with multiplicity greater than 1, then determinant always equal to such type. Are you getting the proof? Lambda 1 times algebraic multiplicity of lambda 1 times this would be continue lambda n times algebraic multiplicity of lambda n. Now we will see sum of the eigenvalue is trace of the matrix A. And this proof is also easy type proof. This proof is such that if since lambda 1 and lambda 2 are eigenvalue, then this must be root of the characteristic polynomial P lambda. And since this is the root of the characteristic polynomial, so obviously P lambda 1 equal to 0 because lambda 1 is the, is the, be the eigenvalue. P lambda 1 equal to 0 means for calculation consider 2 cross 2 matrix. Then the characteristic polynomial of 2 cross 2 matrix would be such type lambda 1 square minus a plus d lambda 1 plus a d minus b c which is equal to 0. And if since lambda 2 is eigenvalue of the characteristic polynomial so if p lambda 2 equal to 0 imply lambda 2 square minus a plus d lambda 2 plus a d minus b c equal to 0. And since p lambda equal to 0 and p lambda equal to p lambda 2 equal to 0, that imply obviously lambda 1 square minus a plus d lambda 1 plus a d minus b c equal to lambda 2 square minus a plus d lambda 2 plus a d minus b c. Okay. Now from this expression we can tell obviously lambda 1 square minus a plus d lambda 1 equal to lambda 2 square minus a plus d lambda 2. So, we can write from this expression lambda 1 square minus lambda 2 square equal to a plus d lambda 1 minus a plus d lambda 2. And this from this expression we can write lambda 1 plus lambda 2 times lambda 1 minus lambda 2 equal to a plus d times lambda 1 minus lambda 2. Just omit this part. Then I have omit here because since lambda 1 and lambda 2 are distinct, so lambda 1 minus lambda 2 cannot be equal to 0. Okay. That means obviously lambda 1 plus lambda 2 equal to a plus d. That means, since I have considered it 2 cross 2 matrix such as A, B, C, D, then notice sum of the eigenvalue is trace of the matrix. Okay? Oh, yeah. That means, for any N cross N matrix A, the trace of A 
is equal to sum of its eigen value up to multiplicity that means if an eigen value lambda i has multiplicity then you will ha have the lambda i appears in the sum of m i times okay now i will see our actual goal of today's lecture i will see what is the annihilating polynomial and the definition is let v be finite dimensional vector space over the field f and t be linear transformation from vector space to itself which is be a linear transformation then a polynomial px in the field fx is said to be annihilating polynomial of px of t if pt equal to 0 that means polynomial substitute with t equal to 0 this is actually concept of annihilating polynomial as for example if we consider px equal to x square plus 1 then obviously p substituted with t equal to t square plus identity for annihilating polynomial when this value is equal to 0 then this polynomial is said to be annihilating polynomial Are you getting OA? That means annihilating polynomial is consider fx which is actually set of all polynomial with coefficient in the field f. Then annihilating polynomial which is denoted as annihilating t actually set of all px in fx such that pt equal to 0. Now my question, for any linear transformation, there exists annihilating polynomial? Yes. Because for any linear transformation, I will get always the characteristic polynomial. So, annihilating polynomial is actually not non-empty. Are you getting? That means characteristic polynomial is actually member of annihilating polynomial and later I will see not only characteristic polynomial monic polynomial minimal polynomial which I will study Later, what is the minimal polynomial, what is the monic polynomial, all are belong to annihilating polynomial, okay? Well, as for example, if we consider the identity matrix, then characteristic polynomial would be x minus 1 whole square. We all of us know. Then what is the annihilating polynomial? Obviously, characteristic polynomial B, annihilating polynomial, this is obviously true. Other, this can be also annihilating polynomial. Similarly, if we multiply x minus 5 to the power 50, this is also annihilating polynomial. Anything. If we consider x, x minus 1 times x minus 2, 3, 4, any term, this would be annihilating polynomial. That means actually annihilating polynomial would be x minus 1 times qx, where qx b belongs to any polynomial fx. That means annihilating polynomial of any linear operator does not necessarily this would be unique. Are you getting? I hope my all viewers have understood what is the annihilating polynomial and what is difference between annihilating polynomial and characteristic polynomial. In polynomial means actually set of all polynomial substitute with t would be the value would be zero. Okay. 
Now oh. I will see what is the monic polynomial. A polynomial small fx in fx given by small fx equal to a n x to the power n plus a n minus 1 x to the power n minus 1 up to a 1 x plus a naught is monic when a n equal to 1. That means when the coefficient of highest power of this polynomial is equal to 1 then the polynomial is said to be monic polynomial and minimal polynomial is such polynomial. Let T be linear operator on a finite dimensional vector space V. Then there exists unique monic polynomial of minimum, minimum degree MTX such that MTT V equal to 0 where for all V belongs to the vector space. Okay. And this polynomial is said to be the minimal polynomial of this linear transformation. And always this polynomial be unique polynomial, unique monic polynomial. That means in minimal polynomial always the highest degree coefficient is 1. And this is minimal because it is the minimum degree annihilating polynomial. Because minimal polynomial is also annihilating polynomial which I have told you few minutes ago. That means the idea of minimal polynomial is such type. Consider a arbitrary polynomial of n degree which is look like a naught plus a one x up to a n minus one x to the power n minus one plus a n x x to the power n. And obviously f t equal to zero. And minimal polynomial is such type set of those f in Rx such that f t equal to 0. That means for linear transformation there exists at least one t such that f of t equal to 0. Obviously there could be infinitely many polynomials such that f of t equal to 0. But at least one minimal polynomial always will be exist. So obviously this set which contain minimal polynomial always be non-empty. And notice, in group theory, this is obviously subset of Rx. So, and this is be the suffering of Rx. And this suffering is obviously ideal. And not only ideal, this is principal ideal. Because principal ideal means in my ring theory lecture I had seen principal idea means every ideal generated by single element. There exists a nice theorem. If f t equal to 0 that implies always f is multiple of minimal polynomial. And this proof is very easy type proof by division algorithm. This is always true. Okay, that means by this theorem we can tell characteristic polynomial always will be multiple of minimal For polynomial. example, consider a 5 cross 5 matrix whose diagonal is 1, 1, 1 and other diagonal element is 2, 2, 2. And this matrix is look like such type I3, 0, 0, 2, I2. Obviously, since the matrix only diagonal element that means the characteristic polynomial would be x minus 1 whole cube times x minus 2 whole square. This is the characteristic polynomial. Then minimal polynomial of A would be x minus 1 to the power i times x minus 2 to the power j where i would be less than equal to 3 and j would be less than equal to 3. At first consider i equal to 1 and j, j equal to 1. Then mx would be x minus 1 times x minus 2. To prove this polynomial be minimal polynomial, we have to prove m a a with the upper, here the operator is a equal to 0. That means a minus i times a minus 2i equal to 0. And notice a minus i means this matrix and a minus 2i means this matrix 
and this product always equal to zero matrix. Since this product is equal to zero matrix, then obviously the minimal polynomial is x minus 1 times x minus 2. That means characteristic polynomial of this matrix is x minus 1 to the power cube times x minus 2 whole square and minimal polynomial is x minus 1 times x minus 2. Are you getting? I hope my all viewers have understood what is the annihilating polynomial, what is the characteristic polynomial and what is the minimal polynomial. In my next video, I will discuss some more example of minimistic polynomial and annihilating polynomial because this topic is very important for any competitive exam. See you soon. Stay safe and stay positive colors. Thank you so much.